Hi everybody, Susan here with Pumpkin Hill Stampers. I have a stamp and show and tell for you today. And this one I would classify as a fun fold. Now I am casing this card. Carol Lovenston did a card like this, oh, about a year ago maybe. Maybe even longer. And I had a customer who said, how do we make that card? So I've made a case of the card, but of course I'm using the So Happy Together Celebration Set. And I am going to be using the dies to trim out the froggy, and sadly, I believe the froggy dies are gone. You can still get the set, but if you want to trim them out, you'll have to do it fussy cutting with your scissors. So, here we go. So here's the fun fold. First off, it's a vellum card, so it's a see-through card. Secondly, it pops up. It has one of these little braces in here that pops up, so the card kind of stands on its own. So as you can see, the froggy pops off the card, and I've got the sentiment there that pops off the card too. So, pretty snazzy little fold there. And the vellum is nice because it's very um, pliable, so it makes that bend a little bit easier than cardstock does. And it kind of gives it a fun little glow when someone has it on their desk or, or, you know, countertop. So, let's go ahead and make the card today for the show and tell. Alright, so here is my basic supplies. I have vellum card base. I'm using um, Share What You Love. Design your series paper with that green leaf print. I thought that went well, well with the froggy. I have a piece of Whisper White. This is going to become the inside piece here where I put the sentiment. Okay. We're going to stamp and die cut the frog, and we're going to die cut the thank you out of our um, thank you thinlets because that makes that card really easy. Okay, so let's start by putting some of these layers on. Okay, so I'm going to use my snail. And the first one I'm going to put on is my white. So I'm going to open up my card. Now be careful with your vellum when you crease it and fold it because it is vellum. It is lightweight paper. You don't want to rip it, but it marks perfectly fine for a card base. You just have to be careful with it. So I'm going to put my Whisper White right here on the inside of my card, right at the bottom. Okay, And then on the front, I'm going to put my big piece of my designer series paper. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm putting that right at the bottom of the card. Okay, so there's that. One, two. Then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to use a dimensional, one of our long strips. Now these happen to be cut to five and a half inches, which is the length of our card. And I'm just going to put this down right along the edge there of my white cardstock. Right, put that on, peel off the backing, and then I'm going to put this piece right on top. Use your grid sheet if you don't get a straight line easily, but there's that. And then when this folds up, it'll have a little break right against that same paper. That was pretty easy, right? There's the basic card right there. All right, then I'm borrowing from the big thank you set, the grateful every day for you because I'm doing a thankful card. And I'm going to stamp that in rich razzleberry. And that's so it coordinates with the thank you die that we're going to die cut on the big shot. So I'm just putting that right here in the middle. Nice, small sentiment there. So there's that. Now we do have to stamp our frog. Now I'm stamping in Memento for our frog because I'm going to use the blends to shade him in. Okay, so we're just going to stamp and I'm putting him on thick Whisper White so he'll have a little bit of um, thickness to him. So he'll stand up nice and tall. So I had to stamp him in Memento. Easy enough. And then I'm lucky enough to have the dies available. So I die cut him on the big shot. Okay, so there's my froggy. And then I've already die cut from my Rich Razzleberry piece my thank you die. Okay, so I ran that through the big shot too. Alright, now let's go ahead and give our froggy some color. Now I'm going to zoom in. I always zoom in when I use my blends so that you guys can see me working with them. So I'm going to start with the white, uh, light, not the white, the light, um, Old Olive. 
I think I'll use the fine point to kind of go around the edges here. So I'm going to start with his legs and feet. Just kind of dot some color in there because he is a very finely drawn critter. So to make sure I stay inside the lines, I'm going to use that pointed part of my blend marker. Come up and do his little arms. I think he's just fun on this little unicycle bike, don't you? Alright, and then I'm just going to outline inside of his body, behind his eyeball. So just outline and then you can just go back and fill in the center or you could open the other end of your blend and color with a thicker brush if you want to but he's not too big so I'll just do him like that. Now I'm going to use the darker Old Olive blend for his belly. He's kind of cute with a white belly but I'm going to shade him in with the darker one. Again, just go around and do your outline. Get those edges nice and clean. And then I'm just going to go back in, color his belly. There, there's our froggy. And then sticking with the rich raspberry, I've got the rich raspberry blend, and I'm definitely using the fine point on this because I'm just going to come in and color the seat and the petals on his bike. And I think I'll go down and I'll do the center of the spoke here. Okay, so just adding a little bit of color to match the card base that we've created. Okay, let me zoom back out. Alright, good. So, now we have to add our frog and our thank you to our card. So I'm actually going to bring in my liquid adhesive. Hopefully it won't be too loosey-goosey for me. So on the back of my thank you, okay, on the back of my thank you, now this is what I did. See I'm lining it up on my grid paper here because you don't want to put snail or adhesive behind the whole thing because you want it to have some free space in there, okay? So you have to kind of decide how much adhesive you're going to put on there. So I have my thank you. I'm going to line up the T and my K along my center line there. Then, maybe it's easiest if I then slide it up, right? So now I have just the top of my U above my line, and now I'm going to put a little bit of glue below. See, here's my center line. I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive. Oop, it moved. Just kind of spread a little bit on your sentiment. Just a little. Remember, if this adhesive kind of bleeds out around, it'll be a little bit tacky. So. Not tacky like, oh, that doesn't look good, but tacky like to the touch. All right, so now I'm going to put this on my card. Just press and hold for a minute. Let that adhesive adhere to the paper. Okay, and then our froggy, he's going to go right over here. I'm just going to add some adhesive behind his wheel. Put him over here. Hold him down for a second. All right, we're just letting that adhesive adhere to that cardstock, and then we're done. Look how cute that is, and look how easy that went together. And then to dress up our envelope just a little bit from that froggy set, I've got the dragonfly, and I'm just going to stamp him in the corner, and we're done. So wasn't that easy? So. This is why I love being a demonstrator. I get swaps, I get good ideas, I can copy and paste them and share them with you. So there's the froggy card. All right. So remember, celebration ends at the end of March. Yes, a lot of our coordinating items and some of our celebration things have sold out. Right. That's why I always tell you at the beginning of celebration, don't wait. If there's stuff you want for freebies, get your orders in, you know, sooner than later. 
There's still plenty of items there to choose from as freebies with your $50 orders or $100 orders. So take advantage of, of Celebration, all right? Cele Stampin' Up! likes to share all their great products with you, but they only have so many to go around. All right, everybody. I thank you for joining me today. Remember, if you're going to put a hostess order in, here's my hostess code. You get entered in my end-of-the-month drawing for free shipping on a next order with me. Um, also, you can play in my card challenges. Go on and check out pumpkinhillstampers.com. I've got it right on the bottom of the pages where you can link in to have those informations. And uh, thumbs up here. Comments below are always appreciated. Let me know you're enjoying what I'm doing. And if you want to try this card, the PDF will be on next week's um, show and tell news on Tuesday. Or you can find it in my PDF library for $2. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for stamping with me today, and go do some fun stamping yourself. Bye-bye.